Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room's Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope you and your caregivers will um, spend some time and have a good time with me, and also uh, uh, strengthen your um, vocabulary and uh, take these rhymes uh, into your home and use them daily. And the, the, the um, <clears throat> different suggestions that we have for enhancing your child's um, literacy. So here we go. I, and you've got to drown me out, remember. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Well, up here in Rye, New York, if that's where you are, you know you have a lot of snow out there, right? You still have snow out there. That was kind of fun this week. <clears throat> and wait, so up north here, we probably have even more. But down south at the bottom of the earth, there's snow too. And this little fellow, he's a bird. He's a penguin. And he has feathers. Oh, nice soft downy feathers to keep him warm. And he has wings. But can he fly? What did we say last week? No, this penguin, penguins can't fly. They're their wings are too short and their body's too large, but they can swim. And oh boy, are these flippers, right? Well, his name is Peter. Here we go. Pretend you're a penguin waddling along. Bob. They don't do too well on land. They look like this, like Granny Jean. Here we go. Peter, Peter, penguin marching by, toes turned out and his head held high. Long black coat and a sleek white vest. Peter, Peter, penguin, you're the best. He's a bird, but he's called a penguin. A penguin. Just like you're a boy, your name is Charles. You're, you're a little girl, but your name is what, Ella? Hmm? Yeah. Here we go. Peter, Peter, penguin marching by. Toes turned out and his head held high. Long black coat and a sleek white vest. Peter, Peter, penguin, you're the best. Yes, he is. He certainly is. <clears throat> well, I know it's gonna be kind of hard to go for a ride in a wagon because the wheels don't go too well in the snow, right? No. So maybe we can find some sidewalk that's been cleared away, can we? Come on, I think we can. And I have a little red wagon. So come on, jump in and we'll we'll have a ride, okay? We're bumping up and down in our little red wagon, bumping up and down in our little red wagon, bumping up and down in our little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Oh, the wheel came off. The axle's broken. Oh, the wheel came off and the axle's broken. The wheel came off and the axle's broken. The wheel came off and the axle's broken. Won't you be my darling? Sure, says Freddy, I'll fix it. Freddy's gonna fix it with his hammer. Freddy's gonna fix it with his hammer. Freddy's gonna fix it with his hammer. Won't you be my darling? Yeah, jump in with me. Come on. <clears throat> We're bumping up and down in our little red wagon, bumping up and down in our little red wagon, bumping up and down in our little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Oh, ready? The wheels came off and the axles broken. The wheels came off and the axles broken. The wheels came off and the axles broken. Won't you be my darling? Oh, sure. Laura's going to fix it with her pliers. Laura's going to fix it with his pliers. Laura's going to fix it with her pliers. Won't you be my darling? Yeah, the pliers. Ah, all fixed. Come on now. We're bumping up and down in our little red wagon. Bumping up and down in our little red wagon. Bumping up and down in our little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Wow. I think that's pretty fun. Wizzy Wizard, do you have a tip for everybody today? I sure do. I sure do. It's a short one, but it's important. It's important. Ah, 
when we read to our children, oh, we shouldn't dumb down the new words. Research indicates that young children can learn scientific names for complex ideas. So try trying to explain rather than give them an alternative word. Explain what it means. They'll remember. Well, my first book is a song that you all can sing with me. What is that? Is that a snowman? And his name is Frosty, Frosty the Snowman by Steve Nelson and Jack Rollins and illustrated by Sam Williams. Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman was a happy, jolly soul with a corn cup pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> there must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. For when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Oh, Frosty the snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. <laughs> Frosty the snowman knew the sun was hot that day. So he said, let's run and we'll have some fun now before I melt away. Down to the village with a broomstick in his hand, running here and there all around the square, saying, catch me if you can. He led them down the streets of town, right to the traffic cop. And he only paused a moment when he heard him holler, stop. <clears throat> For Frosty the snowman, had to hurry on his way. But he waved goodbye saying, don't you cry, I'll be back again someday. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump look at Frosty go. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump over the hills of snow. Here he goes, melts away where we can build him again another day, right? Absolutely. <clears throat> Oh, I have a little snowman here. Actually, there's a <clears throat> there is a storybook called The Snowman. It doesn't have any words and little teeny pictures. And it's awful fun for mommies and, and children, and daddies and children to look through, to, especially at bedtime. But let's pretend we're a little snowman. And we all know I'm a little teapot, right? So that's the song. So here we go. You ready? I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here is my broomstick, here is my hat. When the sun comes out, I melt away. Down, 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 whoops, I'm a puddle. What happens to snow when it melts? Hmm? It turns into water, right. Here we go, a puddle. I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here is my broomstick, here is my hat. When the sun comes out, I melt away. Down, 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 down. Whoops, I'm a puddle. A puddle, but here he is. He's not a puddle yet. <coughs> well, I have a, a clock but it doesn't sit on the wall, what does it do? It stands on the floor and it's a grandfather clock. And I have a little brown mouse. So here we go, pretend you're the clock, okay? And the mouse is trying to climb up and play on you. Here we go, hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock, 
the clock struck one, bong, and down he did run, dickery dickery dock. Dickery dickery dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck two, bong, bong, and the mouse said, whoo, whoo, where are you, over there, whoo, dickery dickery dock, dickery dickery dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck three, bong, bong, bong. And the mouse said, wee, hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck four, bong, 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 bong. And the mouse said, no more, no more, hickory dickory dock. I guess he was through playing. Got kind of tired, huh? What do you think? Well, I'm going to talk about the moon. The moon, the moon is way up there in the sky, right? And when I was a little girl, no one had ever been to the moon. So we used to say the moon was made of cheese. And we knew it really wasn't, but no one knew. Now here's a book. It's full of Fun Rhymes by Jack Polutsky. Ride a Purple Penguin. And inside is a cute little poem about a naughty mouse. A naughty mouse. <clears throat> and there he is. And guess what that is? That's not the moon. That's the earth. That's where we are. And here he is on the moon. <laughs> naughty little brown mouse. How whiskers on his face stowed aboard a rocket bound for outer space. They lifted off from Houston on Tuesday afternoon. The mouse ate cheese that Sunday in the mountains of the moon. Isn't that silly? <coughs> I wonder. I'm sorry. I wonder. I wonder when the author wrote this. I wonder if this was before the they. The astronaut went to the moon. Naughty little brown mouse whispers on his face. Whiskers? Yeah. Stowed aboard a rocket ship bound for outer space. They lifted off from Houston on Tuesday afternoon. The mouse ate cheese that Sunday in the mountains of the moon. <coughs> My gracious. Well, let's see what we have here. We have some more mice. We have three. They're not brown, are they? What color are they? They're white mice with little pink ears and pink tails. <clears throat> Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Walsh, sorry. Wow. I see some colors here. Do you remember some of the colors that we talked about? Red. Granny Jean's wearing a red sweater. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Oh, they're so pretty together, aren't they? <clears throat> mouse paint. I see a red mouse. I see a yellow mouse. Do you? I see a blue mouse. Do you? Ah. <clears throat> Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. Look, he just thought it was paper. One day, <clears throat> while the cat was sleeping, <clears throat> the mice saw one red one yellow and one blue <coughs> of jars of paint. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my own words here, I think. <coughs> they thought it was mouse paint. They climbed right in. Look at climbing into that jar of paint. You put brushes, you paint with brushes, not with you. Then uh, one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. Remember last week? Hmm? Little 
yellow and little blue, little blue and little yellow out of <clears throat> They dropped puddles of paint on the paper. The puddles looked like fun. You like to jump in puddles? I used to. That was fun. <clears throat> the red <clears throat> mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. His red feet stirred the yellow puddle until what happened? Look, he cried. Red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. Look at that. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until, remember what that was last week? Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue, uh, per puddle make green. Look at that. The puddle is now green. It isn't blue anymore, is it? Then the little blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. Now, what color do you think he's going to make? He splashed and he mixed and he danced until purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. So they washed themselves down to a nice soft white. Now, what does that say? C-A-T, cat. They took a bath in the cat's dish. My gracious, poor cat. And painted the paper instead. They painted one red part, one yellow part, one blue part. They mixed red and yellow to paint an orange part. Yellow and blue to paint a green part and blue and red to paint a purple part. <clears throat> but they left some white because of the cat. I think so. Good idea. I think so. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I have three mice here. They're white too. But these mice are a little different. They, they can't see. So they're called blind. Blind. They can't see. They can smell very much. They're smelling some cheese. <clears throat> three blind mice. Three blind mice. See how they run. See how they run. They all run after the farmer's wife who cuts them cheese with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice, three blind mice? See how they run, see how they run. They all run after the farmer's wife who cuts them cheese with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice? One, two, three, three blind mice. <clears throat> well, they must have been her pet, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I think so. <clears throat> they were her pets. Some people have mice for pets, right? <clears throat> well, oh, my goodness me, someone is having a very interesting lunch today. Little Miss Muffet. And here she is. She's going to sit on a tuffet. That's like a little stool. There she is. You see her? And here's her breakfast. I guess lunch would be more appropriate. <coughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet 
eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider, whoop, boom, and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Woo. I'm losing my. Oh, here we go. Come on, you help me with this one. <coughs> All right, here's her curds and whey. That's like yogurt. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider, and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Gracious. That's pretty sad. What did I do here? <coughs> Well, I guess some people have indoor fairs this time of year. I don't know, a lot of cookie sales. Normally, not maybe not this year, but most years. So there's Simple Simon. Did he go to school? No, he didn't learn much because he didn't listen. He didn't, he didn't go to school. Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Mm. Said Simple Simon to the pieman, hmm, let me taste your wares. Said that Simon, said, said the pieman to Simple Simon, show me first your penny. Said Simple Simon to the pieman, oh, indeed I haven't any. Oh, I can't sell you anything if you don't have any money. So come on, here we go. Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pieman, mm, let me taste your wares. Said the pieman to Simple Simon, show me first your penny. Said Simple Simon to the pieman, indeed I haven't any. Well, that's so silly. Next time, bring your little pennies. Here, I'll give you a broken cookie. And what does Simon say? Thank you. And what does the pieman say? You're welcome. You're welcome. That's the polite thing to say. <clears throat> well, let's see, we have a, a winter day. We sure do. Do you remember how the snow started? I think it started at night, though. We didn't get to see it. And this is by Douglas Florian. <clears throat> I see a little rabbit. You see that little rabbit there? <clears throat> and there's a very small little village way out in the country. A few cabins. A winter day. Remember when everything looked like that? All brown. Cold and gray. Cold. Snowflakes. That's how it starts. Just a few snowflakes. Oh boy, it's starting to really pick up there. Oh, <clears throat> let's have some breakfast. Pancakes. Look at that old stove. So that really is way up in the country. Yes. Cover your heads. What do they have? Scarves, mittens, heavy socks, boots, snow pants, mittens, <clears throat> skates and sleds. Oh, so much fun. So much fun. You have a sled? A snowball grows. Did anyone show you how that happens when you have wet snow? You can start with a little snowball and roll it, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That's how you make a snowman. <clears throat> oh, boy, I cold. Oh, warm your toes. Where are they warming their toes? By the fireplace, right? What's mommy doing? <clears throat> 
Mommy is making lunch. It looks like soup. <clears throat> Everything white. Oh, that was a big snowstorm. Orange white. Very pretty color sometimes. At, right before dark. A winter night. The moon came out. There's the moon up there in our sky. Yeah. <clears throat> well, let's see. I see a lot of snow here, so if we wanted to go visiting <clears throat> and we don't have a, a car with snow tires, we don't have a truck, we'd have to go by sleigh, right? If we lived out in the country, especially. <clears throat> Roads aren't plowed plow that well. Here we go. And the horse, the horse pulls a sleigh. Or <clears throat> oxen could, or donkey. Oh, here we go. Now, some, some people put bells jingle bells on their horse. So when he trots along, sounds like that. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. It's not covered, is it? It's open. <coughs> Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ho, ho, ho. Bells on Bob Delvin, making spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing. The sleigh is home tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, it's fun if you ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, my goodness me, I think it's time to say goodbye. <clears throat> and I hope you'll be back next week. Now that we have a pretty much on schedule with Lisa Detling, skilled, skilled hand. We'll see, okay? So good to see you all and have a great week. Bye-bye.